Welcome back. It's just a Christian view, and we're talking about the church today. You know, there are going to be people, Pauline, and they're going to stand before God, and they're going to think, I belong here in heaven with you. I belong here. But yet God's going to look at him and he's going to say, well, let's see, you never read my book. You never went to my house. So why should I let you, why would you be comfortable here? Exactly. You know, it, it's almost like, you know, not acknowledging the source of your creation. Right. You know, rejecting God because, um, if, you know, he says that if you love me, mm -hmm. obey me, right. keep my commandments. That's right. Well, if you don't read his word, you won't know what his commandments That's are. Right. And if you don't go to church, then you, you are limited in your understanding That's and right. your revela in the revelation of what God desires for us and who he is. So it's very important that these, we... Look, these people who do not go to church, mm -hmm. but they do show up for Easter. And I know you had a bunch <laughs> of them there for Easter. <laughs> and they'll come on in on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. They even come on in on Mother's Day. Wow. Yeah. They know enough about it to know they need to be in church. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. They know That's enough right. about it to know mm -hmm. that. Yeah. The Spirit's convicting them, but in this modern world, they use lots of excuses. The work week was too um, busy. Oh, yeah. I would rather go out to brunch. Yes. I would rather sleep in. I don't need that. I can watch it on TV. Well, yeah. so they ask too much money. You yes. know, and yeah. that, oh, all yeah. those things oh, are excuses. Goodness. If you go to the strip club, if you go <laughs> to the club at all, if you go to the restaurant, if you go to the concert, uh -huh. they're going to ask you for if you money. Go to so, yeah. you know, so people right. need to get that concept out of their out of their mind that you know they're always saying the church is asking for money as if you know the church can it. operate without funding coming in. You know everything yes. it takes money to operate. Well, it yeah. takes yeah. money to do all line, things. Rebecca, and you know this. People do what, what they, they want to do. do. Yes. yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. They're going to do what they want to do. Yeah. And that's why God's going to look at it. Mm -hmm. You did what you wanted to do, Pauline. Yeah. Yeah. You did all these things, yeah. but you did not go to church. Why? You didn't want to go to church. Yes. Right. And I think what people need to understand, too, is that life without God is like a pencil without a point. There's yeah. no point. That's right. There's no yeah. point there to life nothing. without yeah. God. No, there's not. I mean, He makes everything exciting. He's yes, the he one does. who gives. Oh, I'm sitting here on this set today because I want went to church and yes. I had a connection there who yes. knew this lady who connected us that's and right. that's why I'm here. Right. That's right. And my pastor blessed it. The you church. Know? He, he the church. said, go do your dream. This yeah. is all. So yeah, that's it's right. all in church. Yeah. And we have to be cognizant of the fact that there is a war going on yes, to keep is. people away mm -hmm. from the church. And that's why the church, we cannot wait on the people to come to us. Mm -hmm. We yeah. must get focused on fulfilling the great commission yes. and that is to go ye into all the world, okay. you know, yeah, and compel them to come. There's a feast that's prepared for them mm -hmm. at church. You know, yeah. they can come and eat and don't even have to spend well, any you know money. I'll yeah. I look at it this way too. You better get out there working because night's about to come. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's going to come a time, Lee, where they're going to wish they could have come to church. Yes. They're not going to be able to go to church. Yes. They're going to wish away. they could. Mm -hmm. And we as workers are going to have to work because the night is coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, there is a hell. Yes. There is a hell. Yes. And we have got to try and rescue these people every way that we can yes. rescue these people. Absolutely. Well, we have to help people too to understand God is real. Yes. You know, people in church are going to be human. They're going to be people. I think I have probably, out of probably most people I know, experienced some of the most egregious things and the most egregious hurts that can ever happen to you in church. Yeah. Some people know oh, yeah. my story, you know, of how I served in a church for over 20 years. And, you know, I served the man of God. I was actually one of the assistants there. But then later, when uh, my ex-wife and I broke up because she had become impregnated by someone else, later to find out seven years later that it was my former pastor at the same time. <laughs> oh, you know, yes. it was that can be, that's very hurtful. That's the Ooh, thing that can that cause to put you anyone say, right, to say again. that I'm not going to go to church. But what kept me going was it wasn't the pastor. No, it was wasn't. God that Woo! saved me. You know, it had nothing to do with my relationship with the man. Yeah. It was my relationship with the man That's upstairs. Right. Yes. And I had to That's realize right. that God had been good to me. And even yes. as ugly and as bad as it may sound or what it is, we have to understand all things work together yes. for good. That's we got to right. know that God has purpose. He has purpose in yep. our pain. He, yes. he has purpose in yes. our mission. It pushed me, you know, yes, instead of crushing me. Yeah, the devil meant it for evil, oh, yeah. but it God meant it for good, you know. Yeah. That's a good point. A lot of people step away from the church 
just because they're ashamed yes. or they're embarrassed or they're they're so grieved over their sin they don't even know how to fit in. Right. And so they need to get in the church so we can have that connection, yes. find that relationship a with God. A lot of them get out of church before they really get in church. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. They get out before they really get in. Yes. And you know, Jackie, the greatest population is ages 17 to 25 when kids go off to college and graduate high school. Oh, yeah. Yes. So it's our responsibility to, to keep hard. keep to reaching out in. to them, keep yes. inviting them in. Yes. yes, go out to them, bring the church to them, but make it an invitation to keep bringing them back in. Yes. Right. They're gonna, those fish are going to bite eventually. Just yes. keep inviting them. <laughs> you never know when they're going to come from the Air Force. Yes. And Sundays, hey, you going to church? Mm -hmm. yes. You know, and, and, and just even um, past Resurrection Sunday, yes. we had the conversation, you know, that even though you don't come home, I expect you to be in church Amen. somewhere. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Yes, that you know, accountability. And yes. so many people say, well, when I get my life right, then I'm going to start going to church. Oh, yeah. When I get everything well, cleaned the stars up. Are aligned. But you know what? Everything's going to be perfect. That's what it's there for, is for us to come yes. just that's as right. I am. You know, the that's old song, right. the old that's hymn said, just as I am, I come just like that's I am right. to you, Lord. And then little by little, he begins to straighten out the crooked that's places that's in our life. He cleans us up. Amen. That's right. That's the, the church is the potter's wheel. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's right. And one one great thing about the potter's wheel is when, when Jeremiah went down and saw the, the, the uh, potter molding the clay, mm -hmm. and then he took it off and he looked at it and it was still marred. He put him right back on oh, yeah. the on so the good. on the wheel. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's we what God to, does to us. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to use wisdom. And yes. you know, I've I've had I have two daughters. They're both grown now, but um, having raised them and um, being a part of my life and having the whole church dynamics, me being you know assistant pastor, pastor, and yet they were very active in school. I had to be wise yes. and understand. I couldn't force every decision. You know, no, you can't go to that because we got church. Right. I use yeah. wisdom, and consequently, my children are in church. They remain in right. church. They stay intact in church. I don't yeah, push them. Yeah, you can't them turn them completely yes. against it. Like. Yes. You can you turn them to, against it. Yeah, and you have to have balance. You, you have do. to teach the balance. I think you know people get burnt out on church yeah. because there is no balance. Yes. You know, true. you know, balancing life outside of church yeah. with the church, and then even serving in the church. Absolutely. You know, so I think it's balance. Mm -hmm. You know. And some people come into the church and they immediately think, well, I've got to join this program and that program and this mm -hmm. program and that program. And before yeah. you know it, they are they are burnout. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. And that's because so many of the church people who come don't do it. 10% <laughs> of the in people to be part of in the that church. 10%. Do 90% right. of the work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Yes. Yes. I see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So it's right. teaching that church. balance, like yes. Lee was saying, and, and just helping people to know that you can serve God and oh, still yes. serve your family, and, yes. you, and you can be a happy one with real. God. He's yeah, and But the real. thing yes. is, you're yes. keeping yes. him first. Yes. yes. And that's yeah, the point. You've got to get up on Sunday morning. You've got to go, because that shows God you are putting him before everything. Yeah. Yeah. He honors that. Stay with us. We'll be right back.